Hi guys and welcome to this tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial I'm gonna tell you how to uh, destroy stairs and how to prepare them and put it on loop. So I'm just gonna show you what I mean. So stairs destroyed. Now when I want to repair them, I get a notification about it. Press E on my keyboard and first uh, box of stairs is repaired. Another one, another one, and another one. You can do it both on the floor and on the second one. Okay, so first uh, I uh, find the stairs model in my content browser. You can type it in search as well. I just did it in this one. So it be faster. Can I change my grid? Mm. And let's build a small area. And let's add some floor and a wall and a second floor. Copy now duplicate objects by holding out and selecting and switch when you want Let's pick the second floor. Uh, one more bit. Okay, let's adjust. Okay, so just as placed, uh, the model is only one way. Well, hmm. So now, if well, obviously, if you try to shoot at those stairs, nothing will happen. But uh, let's show you how to make something happen. First, we select all of them and we change, convert them to mover. And now if you look in whole frame, you see that those objects are uh, the mover objects are purple and static meshes are kind of greenish or I don't know what that color is. And now if we we'll, uh, highlight the collision, we'll see that all the static meshes have them, but that movers does do not. So I'm gonna change that and we go to the trusted floor while so select it, and we change your collision to block all. So now you can see that collision appeared. Uh, collision is uh, this, uh, those pink lines and the objects. And um, you can highlight it in the edges about pressing C. And now just Make those stairs disappear. So we go to Kismet. Uh, as you can see, I have already a lot of stuff in here. So it's nice. Okay. Nice. And we'll go to new event using those mover objects. And we select uh, tip damage. And first, we have to change the max trigger count to zero, which will be. 
limited amount of uh, times, how, like, uh, how many times can you activate it? Um, actually, I'm going to delete all of those and just create one. Uh, so we go to new action, actor, um, uh, wait, uh, toggle, and then we go. And we click at this box out and drag it to five. And now we add uh, that object as a variable. Adjust it and uh, now. Taken up damage, it will disappear, but the uh, collision of it still remains. So, to delete it as well. To do that, we go to new action, actor, uh, change collision. And collision actually will be changed to no collision. So, now and that will take enough damage, vision will disappear as well. Uh, now we have to place some triggers. Uh, adapter, adapt, uh, trigger. Just to ch we should place it in the middle. Then we have to. Uh, uh, adjust its size. So, I think, uh, eight, uh, the height in 100 radius should be enough. Uh, yep. And first, uh, this trigger should be deactivated because those tests we will be already in the level you won't be needed to repair them right away because they are intact. So we'll change the triggers collision to no collision so it will basically be disabled. We go back to Kismet and we add this trigger as touch and um, Used. This goes here, touch here, and remember to change max trigger account to zero. You can select uh, multiple objects in this menu by pressing uh, and holding Control and Alt. And you can create groups by selecting different uh, different amount of objects. And Pressing C, and then you can add a comment. But there's a list to do that, so here it is. And you can just uh, at any time rescale it and by just pressing up this uh, like triangle and holding it and moving it around. You can delete it by pressing delete on your keyboard. And uh, first, when you in service trigger area, we want the player to know that he can um, do something with it. So, create an announcement uh, and we type the text press E to prepare stairs. Hide unused connectors. And now, um, when this trigger will be pressed or reused, uh, this test model should appear. So, should appear now. But the collision still won't be there. So, let's add it as well. And change it to work all. And now we need to make this trigger dynamic as well, so when you hit the object and uh, it disappears, uh, 
this trigger will be activated and yet when you um, activate the trigger it will be gone so copy it as well Just, uh, we create a new variable with this trigger we have it here mm -hmm. and uh, As well in here. Uh, no, actually here we it should touch everything, and in here it should disappear. Now let's just check for all collision. Good. Now we just select them, copy paste them, and actually uh, I will have them used. And let's do that one more time. And uh, now we just have to add the three more triggers to the level. Okay. Okay, so now we are placed. Let's uh, adjust them to the other sequences. So, just here, here, and here. And now, select the stairs. And, and here. Now, my third one. Uh, yeah, I also forgot to mention one thing. Uh, you have to uncheck aim to interact, otherwise uh, you will be able to activate the trigger only by looking directly at uh, the icon of the trigger, and that will be tricky if you want to see this trigger in the game. Uh, I'll select the stairs model again. Just here. And the last sequence. Okay, now it should be working. Through it, there is no collision, and just stairs is repaired. Second one, third one, fourth one, and you can walk. Now, let's check it if we can do that. Everything works. So there you go. Tutorial how to um, prepare and destroy things. You can also make uh, add a, a damaged version of the stairs, but unfortunately I never have it. So um, the normal stairs model simply disappears and it doesn't change into a damaged version. Uh, if you have a damaged version of the model, you can just add it as well, somewhere to the same spot, and you will just have to uh, make it appear when the normal stairs took damage and before you have prepared it. So, thanks for watching, guys.